Just a reminder that I am going on tour this October and tickets are on sale right now So if you want to meet me take a picture with me and enjoy the show that I have planned for you guys Then go check out the link down below um, Some of the tickets have already sold out. So now's your chance get it before they're gone ah, Good day everyone and welcome to today's video here with Molly Hi. Hello there. Hello. So today Molly is going to be my hairdresser uh huh, Saran. And the twist is, uh, Molly is blind, so. And has uh, ever done hair. <laughs> it's a combination of two bad things. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be a very interesting video. I normally get my hair done by professionals, and now I'm going. Um, not saying you're not a professional. We don't know how good this is going to turn out. I might end up feeling like a blind hairdresser niche. Oh my I God. might find my true talent today. Yes. We've made a discovery, everyone. Uh, well, we'll find out if we have. Uh, so my hair is like a very pale pink right now, so you have a full canvas to just, you know, uh, you'll have every color on the rainbow to just go at it. So how are you feeling? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not sure It's gonna I be am. everything. You're never gonna look back. Every time you're gonna call me, good call me. I, I really need look, you. I, I need know you're so busy, but I really need you to dye my hair. So, okay, good. At least you're okay with that. I'm okay. Oh, um, so we're currently at a salon. Our, our friend Brisa is letting us use her salon. She's a darling. She, she's giving us all the colors. She's actually going to be here to, you know, make sure you don't put hair dye in my hair. Don't you use the word fix. I felt the word fix, fix? like no, dangling on the tip of your tongue. Uh, so I guess without further ado, let's head to the salon and let's make some magic with my hair. Unicorn, rainbow, mermaid, glamour. Okay, so we're in the salon. We have our gorgeous colors to choose from. Molly, I'm not telling you which color's which, so you're gonna have like this whole palette it's, of mystery. It scares me more that I don't know, because like at least if I knew I could like build an idea in my mind of what I'm doing, but now this we're just really going rogue on you. <laughs> yeah. You know, this isn't the most permanent thing anyone's ever had me do. I did permanently tattoo my name on somebody's hand. So, right across the top of it. So. Uh, over on Molly's channel, we actually gave her each other tattoos. Uh, so, check that out after this video. But yeah, let's begin, Molly. Um, Do I? Okay, yep. That's... You're feeling like I can't go wrong. I feel like you you like that color. I feel like you mentioned that color before, so I feel like this is a good. I want him to go seafoam aqua. Is that what I picked? I'm psychic! If that's what I picked, I don't know how to do this. I really don't. <laughs> I hope you're okay with getting paint on your face, potentially. Just starting with the front. Yeah, we gotta go right in there. <laughs> the biggest issue with this for me is that my hands are my eyes. Oh, okay, okay. And putting my gloves on, Yeah. I can't feel it. And anything. then having a brush also. Yeah. yeah oh my gosh. So that's the biggest struggle Just is like go in with your hands. When you can't see, all you got is your hands, you know? And then you take that away. It's like these gloves take away all my sensitivity. And then I take a brush and it's like now I have no coordination. Right. Okay, Molly. I separate. She's helping me out here. I got the professional. I need one more clip. <laughs> okay, we are going in. Okay, let's go for this. Yes. Oh, we hear happy noises. Yeah. Yes. Nailed it. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's gonna be a color, all right. With every color that you take, I I'm, I want you to say what color you think it is. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the first one was like aqua or teal, because I know I had an aqua or teal here. Okay. And you had said I'd be happy, and that yeah. is the color that I was like. And what do you think the second color was? I'd say because Breeze said saturation, you were like, oh, that's a color. I'm oh, guessing okay. it's like pretty bright. Okay. Oh, context clues. Yeah. Wow. When you're blind, you like pick, pick up, up on, on you okay. pick up on things that normal people wouldn't. Not normal people. So I'm what, pretty normal. What color like, do you think this one is that you're? This one. There was more blue tones than anything else. So I'm gonna go with one of the blues. Okay. I don't like this color, so uh, be sparing with it. Oh no! Really? 
<laughs> that color's deceiving, actually. Is it? It oxidizes it differently, yeah. Okay. <laughs> What color does it look? It looks like baby food. Let's oh, just put it that way. I'm sorry, not blue. <laughs> no, it's okay. What color does it oxidize to, Brisa? It's like a corally. Oh, okay. Okay, a coral's cute. Yeah. Very in for the summer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you sound thrilled. <laughs> This is what happens when you give me too many color options. I use them all. No, I want you to use all of them because all of them are so pretty. There's one color that I'm super excited about. I hope she goes for that one. <laughs> is that the one I just grabbed? Maybe, I don't know. Like, I'm not Cause you like you. stopped in your tracks when I went, dug my fingers into it. Oh, I just, wait. I just want this to end my hair now. Just a reminder, <laughs> my, I only have blonde on the, the tops of my head. So the back is, won't pick up the color because it's brown. Oh, it so nice and shiny. is all this brown? I don't know, I can't tell, but I, th I feel like you got it. Is any of it showing up on here, Reese? Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Okay. That's great. You got it then. You get a little bit of a smell. I know, I'm excited to see. Oh, okay. I'm excited to see what color you choose for the front. I hope it's a good color because that's the one you're going to see the most. Oh, nice. so, um, I wish I knew which color you wanted most. <gasps> well, I'll give you a hint. It was parallel to the one you just did, so. The head back? Okay. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna cover up. Tip the head back? <laughs> oh, oh, you're wow. making this. Yes. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah, this is like my favorite color in general, so. Can we please, have you ever done your hair this color? Um, no, I haven't. I've done like a, a green. Okay, Breeza, here's what I'm picturing. Green teal? Because Breeza's going to yes. touch up. Not fix. Touch up what I've begun after this so he can, yeah. you know, leave we'll the house. That one. I'm gonna give him a finish. And what I think you should do is do this color like saturated really big on the tips and then fade it out to the bleach. I think I can do oh. that. I think I could do the full saturation Wouldn't with that be a cool? little bit of a light saturation yeah, like, towards the ends. Pull end. it out to the ends to make it lighter. So I wanna know like the, the history of like why you started a YouTube channel because I've never seen like someone who's blind, like, I don't know, like make a channel and like be so outspoken about like what your life is like. I feel like you're giving so much insight on what um, so many people deal with. So I'm just curious like where that all began. So I found YouTube as a viewer, which obviously is how all of us start. You right. know? Um, I found it as a viewer in 2009. I lost my vision in 20, uh, 2008. Okay. So I was diagnosed with my eye disease. How old were you? I was 14, so okay. I'm 24 now. This is my 10 year anniversary. Wow. It's a big year. I was diagnosed in 1998 with retinitis pigmentosa, which is a disease that causes progressive vision loss. And so then I ended up losing my vision in 2008 and I lost all my friends. I became like very, very badly depressed, really badly bullied. And that's when I found YouTube. I feel like a lot of people, yeah. people always make jokes of like, oh, every YouTuber has depression. Every YouTuber deals with anxiety. Every YouTuber was bullied, but like I, so re like no, so many of us find. I think that's why like yeah. most of the YouTubers, like our Start YouTubers are we because do. we're, we're not the cool kids at school. We're like the outsiders who find a home on exactly. YouTube. Like Otherwise, we'd be with our friends in real life and we wouldn't have time for YouTube. <laughs> real. So yeah. it's it's kind of like a blessing that we um, kind of had those Exactly. Struggles. And that's why like I found YouTube as a viewer. I found like the beauty community. Oh, okay. And those girls, like I've always loved makeup and fashion, but I didn't know how to like enjoy makeup and fashion after my vision loss. So I would listen to their videos and listen to them talk and it like, you know, made me figure out how I could do my makeup on my own and how I could pick out my outfits on my own and all of those things. And you know, then I started my motivational speaking career and did that toward the world speaking and sharing my story for many years. And I still do that, but I got to a point where I wanted to do more than just speak live. Yeah. Like I wanted to be able to share my journey and my story and myself with more people than would just be able to see me live. And that's how And YouTube that's how my channel became. That's so cool. Began, it started four years, well, September will be four years. Wow. And I'm the first blind YouTuber to ever hit a million subscribers. <gasps> Congratulations. Which was really yes. cool. And when I started, it's crazy, because when I started, disability on YouTube was like this tiny little community. Oh, for sure. Like it like, hardly existed. Yeah. And now there's like so many more disabled creators so cool. and so many people feeling empowered to make content regardless of their ability and I, I just love it. Okay, I have a challenge for your followers. Okay. YouTube viewers are like ninjas on the internet. Yeah. 
They need to find us like a blind hairdresser. There I must wonder, be somebody I, out there. I, there probably is. There must sure. be. Because I feel like cutting hair is very based on feeling it. So I feel like maybe dyeing would be more tricky, but I feel yeah. like as a blind person, you could give haircuts. If you were trained, I think so. I think so too. Do you remember who the first YouTuber was that you saw? I know the first three girls that I became like really, like that I watched religiously. And that was Juicy Star 07, Blair Fowler. Okay. Um, Bethany Moda, yeah. at Barbie 07. And Megan Hart's makeup, Megan Parkin. Oh my god! I remember her. Yeah, those were like my three girls because wow. they were all either my age, a year older, or a year younger. Yeah. So like they felt like my sisters. They felt like right. when I had no friends, they felt like my friends. Yeah. And that's what I think is so magical about YouTube. And I think like that's why I love being really open and honest about my journey with bullying and like not having friends because and how YouTube made me feel like I had friends because now I know I can do that for other people. Yeah. And especially by being vulnerable and open and honest with my experiences. And I think that's like such a magical thing to be able to do for it people. It really is. So I'm curious, like why did your friends like stop being your friends? Were they just like, they didn't know how to like be act around you or was it just like- Yeah, I mean, I'm one of those people who gives everybody the benefit of the doubt. Could be seen as a flaw, but I do, I really try to trust and love and respect and like, Send positive vibes to everybody. So the best thing I can do in terms of like imagining why they behave that way. Oh, oh, I found a horn. Is that not dying? <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. At 14, 13, like you're already going through puberty. You're doing a lot of self-discovery and they didn't know how to handle my stuff on top of their own. You right. know, whatever. I don't know what they were dealing with necessarily, but I became, I was dealing with depression. I wasn't the same happy, bubbly girl. Does it give them an excuse to treat me the way they did? No. Right. Nobody should ever bully anybody. They did the only thing I guess they knew how to get me out of their lives. And that was, you know, to be, to be me. That's so crazy. But I think there was really like one ring leader if I'm, you know, oh, like there was kind of one the girl Regina running George. the show. Yeah, exactly. I had a Regina George in my life. So I love the movie. So Where is she relatable. now? Relatable. Have you? Talk to her or? People who ask if I've ever, you know, like if they've ever apologized or if I've ever heard back from them. And what I always say is like, I don't need that from anybody. I believe forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. And so I, a long time ago, gave myself the gift of forgiveness, okay. letting go of that negativity and the anger and the bitterness and resentment that I felt towards them because all that was doing is allowing them to continue to like control my life. That's really powerful. Like, that's so cool that you, you figured that out because that's so true. When you let them have that amount of, like, impact on your life, you're giving them the power to make you feel a certain way. And when they're not even in your life anymore, right. why give them the power? I mean, the best, not that you want to, you know, not that you want to get back at anybody or, like, get revenge, but the if you did, the best revenge is moving on and this becoming is, successful. This is the best revenge. Yeah, the best revenge is, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's right here. Um, but the best revenge is, like, becoming <laughs> successful and happy yes, and finding love and absolutely. moving on. Because that's what people don't yes, want you bitch. to find when they, like, are negative, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's what I always say is, like, forgiveness, forgiveness is for you. Let go and move on. Okay. I feel good about this. Alright, let's take a look at all wow. colors. That is an awesome color map. I have no idea what those are. I don't know what that even means, but thank you. They're melted together beautifully. Alright, well, Molly, you have done your job. Now I guess we're gonna go rinse it out, and then I will have my big reveal where I will get to see this for the first time. So we will check in with and you guys I still won't. in a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry to get all depressing on y'all. <laughs> oh. Yes. There you go. Is that too hot? No, it feels good. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, what happened? What, what do you think happened? Point down a bit, always point down, like a waste. Did I get you wet? She's good, she's good, she's good. I feel like I'm massaging my dog. Okay, so I'm gonna get you wet. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, I'm gonna get you wet. 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 Okay, I'm gonna get you wet
And then you have the purple. Oh my god, okay, even That's more okay. colors are up here. Ooh, okay, this section's really cool. The purple to the pink. Oh my gosh, okay. I love this section. The pink and purple looks so cool. You're welcome. Oh, I love this purple side. That's Corgina. Obviously, I did that intentionally. Okay, let's see the back. Oh. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. I got Who's the up. blind one? That's my job. I get to step on people's feet, not you. Guys, this is the final result. Thank you, Molly, for doing this. Thank you, Brisa, um, for letting us yes, steal all your and stuff. Thank you, Brisa. And you for letting me make you my experiment. <laughs> Anytime. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big ol' thumbs up and go check out Molly's channel where we go give each other tattoos. So, uh, go subscribe to her and I'll see you next time. Good damn bye.